Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And once again, we have another toy here from the Marvel Legends series that came out this November. I think it was November 8th, so just a couple days ago, when these officially released, that you can get them in Targets and Walmarts and stuff. But obviously, some stores broke street date, got them out a little early, so there have been plenty of reviews on these. This was one of the characters that I wasn't sure I was going to get, and it's not because I'm not a Carnage fan. It's just that I'm not as big of a Carnage fan as I am Venom, and, uh, and I like collecting all the Venoms. Uh, but, uh, but you know, when I saw him and I, up, up close, I was like, you know what? He doesn't look half bad. Like when I saw the pictures online, I wasn't really feeling it. But, uh, but when I saw it in person, I was like, okay, he looks kind of cool. Cause it, him and miles, I'm, I was a little on the fence on, I wasn't sure I was going to get them, but since I'm going to probably pick up the rest of the series and I already have Morbius as well. So I'll probably in time as you know, each paycheck comes out, you know, I get them. I'll probably pick up these figures one at a time and I'll probably just order them online. Cause it's been a real pain tracking them down in the real world. This is the only one I've actually seen in the real world. And I got to say, when I looked at him up close, he looks pretty cool. So we'll look at that in a second. I just want to check out the box art. Obviously, he's got his absolute carnage design. That's the head that is in the main, uh, the main head that he has on here. But he has a, also a standard carnage head too. Um, so this is kind of neat because now that I do have multiple carnages, I guess I could call him the absolute carnage version. And then one of my previous ones I have with the Cletus Cassidy face, so I can go off that one. And then the third one, that's just a full carnage, I can say that's the Norman Osborn carnage. So I guess kind of it worked out in a way. Um, although I don't have the Red Goblin toy, I know that came out a while ago, I didn't get that one. Uh, but in this series you can get Morbius, you can get Carnage, Phage, Miles Morales, and Spider-Gwen, and uh, or Gwenum, and they build Venom Pool, that's the big figure. Twisted criminal Cletus Cassidy sows chaos in the streets as the bloodthirsty villain Carnage. Um, yes, so yeah, really cool looking. Like I said, the box art is nice um, on the outside, the white, and then you got the, the Venom logo they do for the toys, um, and you have Carnage there. And there is the Venom movie figure that's part of this wave, so they don't show it on the back here because he's not part of the Build-A-Figure. And there's also the Captain America, Venomized Captain America, which you can get exclusively at Walmart. That's also not on the back of the box here because it too does not come with a Build-A-Figure part. So, without further ado, let's take this guy out of the box and check him out up close. Don't forget to torture me and kill. And here we have Carnage outside of the box, and he is looking pretty awesome. Like I said, I love the, you know, seeing it up close, I gotta say, the spiral look with him from Absolute Carnage, I'm digging it a lot more. It looks a lot cooler than I thought it was gonna look. Because um, when I saw the images online, I was kind of like, eh, he looks all right, you know. Um, but uh, but I got to say, he is more rubbery than I thought he would. There's there's definitely these rubbery type pieces on him, uh, these plasticky, bendy ones. But his feet, like, feel very, like, like you can bend in really weird spots. And I see that there's, like, a swivel there that they have in the, the shin, which is really interesting. And then they have the two knee bends. Um, and then the foot pivots also. Um, so all that's pretty standard, except I, I don't see the shin movement on a lot of figures. So that's pretty neat. Uh, and that, I think that's what gives him his kind of frame and you can put him in these crazy poses, um, you know, with his legs and stuff because of th that uh, swivel there. Um, but then you also have the thigh swivel, top thigh, and then you got the ball joint in the groin area, obviously. Um, on the back, he has a hole in his back and that's gonna be for an accessory that we'll put on here in a second. Um, he's got the ab crunching as well. He doesn't click like Venom does. Some of the ones click, this one doesn't click. He's pretty quiet. Um, he's got the ball joint in the arm though, as usual. Move in any direction. Um, you got the swivel and the bicep right up here. Swivel back and forth. Uh, then you also have the elbow bend, pretty standard. And then the hand can rotate around as well. And then of course the ball joint in the head. So yes, and like I said, he does come with ex extra accessories. But he has like let me do a little close up here of these like these little things coming off his legs. I thought they would come off, but they don't come off. So don't try to peel them off. Um, they stay on him. They're, they're glued on. So yeah, and molded in, but they are cool. They're, they're additions, you know, so there's one coming out of his Achilles tendon heel uh, here, which is really neat. Um, but yeah, so he's got, you know, he's got a lot of detail. I got to say the other carnages that came out, they looked cool, but he, I felt like he always lacked in detail. They made him more red, very little black in him. He's got all these veins going throughout him. He looks really cool. Like I said, he's got the black toes, down here so the veins go all the way up his legs and that detail is pretty good i gotta say it's a little bit better than some of the other ones even some of his fingers have black going through the fingers which is really really neat and I, as i said he has an accessory so you can put this here into the hole on his back 
and that helps give them more of that absolute carnage vibe to them. But if you want to do kind of a standard Cletus Cassidy, so this one doesn't come with extra hands like Venom did, um, but that's okay because I like the claw hands. They look really good. So you can take that off and you pop the head off, obviously. So you get the head there and you get a second head, which is a lot more classic Carnage looking in appearance. And then boom. So now you have a classic Carnage. So if you're out there and you're like, hey, I like this new figure, but I'm not feeling the absolute Carnage head, um, you can always add the classic Carnage on there. Although I feel like most people who are going to buy this, they probably already have classic Carnage figures with classic Carnage heads, so they don't really need it. Um, they probably bought it for this head, which uh, ties them to Null and adds to the uh, Absolute Carnage storyline. Um, and then it also comes with a Build-A-Figure piece. You get the head of Venom Pool, which looks really cool. Uh, it's got a ball joint on it too, which I think means you can put it on here if you wanted to, although it looks kind of silly, but you can still do it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, anything with a ball joint, you can add that too, but he's for the Build-A-Figure. And so, uh, so yeah, he looks awesome. So yeah, and I'm, I'm, I'm curious, like I wasn't feeling the Venom pool figure at first, but, uh, cause I was like, oh, I'll just wait till they release a $30 version of it. But then once I got this carnage, I was like, okay, so the only figure I'm going to be missing from the set will be miles. And then I got to pick up, uh, phage at some point. So I'm like, okay, so then I can, I'm only two figures away from the build a figure. Might as well just do it now. And then, you know, and I'll get those in future installments. <laughs> So I'm not going to just do all the toy reviews in a row. I'm going to spread them out a little bit, talk about some comics, get back into the Flash Thompson stuff, because obviously we have a lot of that to cover before the end of the season. But I just wanted to take a, a break, you know, from the comics just for a couple episodes and talk about at least these first two toys. So we did Venom Movie Toy last episode, and we got Carnage in this one. So let me know what you guys think of these. I personally think they're really awesome, and this came out way cooler than I thought he was going to be. So I'm very happy about that, and uh, I'm going to put him back into his absolute Carnage uh, position or like design because that's the version I'm going to have on my shelf when I put them on my shelf in the back, um, you know, in the background of my episodes. So you'll see this in the background in future episodes. So let me know what you think of this figure down in the comments below. And as always, we'll continue our conversation down there. Thanks for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.